It's all you said it was, Franz. This is indeed a find. Look. These timbers are just what we need to build a ship. Before you know it, we'll be sailing home. One moment, Ernest. We'll be using these to reinforce the treehouse. Why are we talking about how we're going to stay here? We should be talking about how we're going to get out of here. Well, I'm sorry, Ernest. You're overruled. Well, I'm sorry, too. Marie, do you think we'll make seamen first class? See, woman first class. Father always says, if a man knows he must do a thing, he should simply do it, get it done. Do you agree? Well, it has been his way, yes. Then I'm going to take the boat and go to Shark Island and see if I can spy an island beyond that and one beyond that. I'm going to keep sailing until I can find people, people who can help get us home. Ernest, let's talk about it, all right? Father? It will be very dangerous. There are a thousand reasons for not doing anything. If it's what you must do, son. This day, Ernest, with the impatience of his youth, set off on a course to eventually take us all home to Switzerland. I did nothing to stop him, for I could not deny him his growing manhood. But for Ernest, a tropical storm suddenly arose and matters rapidly became a question of life and death. You off course too, eh? Uh, well, uh, don't look to me for any help. I'm as lost as you are. Welcome to the hospitality of the house, such as it is. It's not here. August 4, in the year of our Lord, 1801. In the lexicon of mariner's terms, no phrase so strikes terror into the heart of a sailor as the words lost at sea. Ernest should have waited. 
That storm's blown up more wreckage. Enough for our need and the boat he wanted as well. So long as none of the wreckage is the Vernus sailboat. That was more than a sun shower. He would have made it the Shark Island time and taken cover in the inlet there. Oh, stop spoiling her fun, Franz. Mother Hen has to brood about her chicks. In any case, Ernest is a first-class sailor, as indeed is Franz. It's one thing this island's done for us. Otherwise, I shouldn't have let him go at all. Will Ernest just keep sailing and sailing until he finds someone that can help us? Win or lose, he promised to be home in a month's time. By which time we're supposed to have done some things. Though I may suggest that at our present rate... <laughs> aye, aye, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sight of land, without compass or provisions, adrift in a damaged vessel, it took every ounce of courage and will our young sailor could muster to control his terror and settle down to the business of survival. terror of the first revelation that he was lost at sea was replaced by an all-consuming depression. This, as one day's ration of water, was stretched to three. When yet plainly three would not be enough. As the days stretched on, Ernest survived eating raw the flying fish that managed to land in the boat at night. He shared his meager fare with the pelican, who by now had become his friend, another living creature sharing his odyssey. through the valley, the shadow of death. I fear no evil, for thou art with me. And God bless Mama, and Papa, and Ernest, and Franz, and Bruno, and Franz's pet monkey, Chips, and Amada's little kid, and Bossy, and Nanny, and the mother hen who hurt her wing, and all her chicks, and Reverend Beal back in Switzerland, and my girlfriend Verena, who I hope got over the mumps, and her little brother, um... All right, dear. In you go. Heinrich! And if I may ask twice, especially, most especially for Ernest, keep him safe. Amen. I keep wondering what his chances are of bumping into somebody who can help us. Well, it's hard to say, Franz. There are a thousand islands like this one, uninhabited. But we certainly can hope. You go home again? Well, that's a pleasant thought to sleep on. I'll settle for having Ernest back home. All right, now. Pleasant dreams only. Good night. Good night, Papa. Good night, dear. Good night. 
Night. Night. August 19. To whom it may concern. I am, by this date, 15 days adrift from my family. We're shipwrecked on the island you see charted here. I beg you, find them. Help them. I am your faithful servant, Ernest Robinson. A splinter for a pen, some ink from a squid, all hope gone. With the last of his strength, our dear Ernest begged help for us, his family. Hot. So hot. They know. The sharks know. The water's cool. A swim. That's what I need. Ernest? Find anyone who could help us? I'm lost. Going off like that took a lot of courage. Not sure I could have done it. Oh, Franz. All I want to do <coughs> is get back to the family. What's that, Father? Need a hand? Be right there. Franz, help me. Well, look at that. A coconut. It's a hang about a coconut. Ron, I need help. I don't know where I am. Interesting thing about coconuts. To look at that shell, you'd think it was just bobbing around. But it's not. They follow currents. They're always going to land somewhere to take root. Gotta go now, Ernest. Run! <laughs> Showing me the way home. Did you hear him? <laughs> the coconut will float to land. <laughs> What if he doesn't come home, Mama? Well, he's got to. The family just won't be a family without him.
Take the pelican. Father. Take the pelican and tie him so that he can't escape. Why? You might have to eat it. I just can't. You do anything, do you understand? Anything you have to do to survive. Keep moving. Keep moving, Ernest, or you die. Remember that the next time you want to take a rest. Get out of the sun, boy. Find water. Don't stop moving. Stop moving, stop trying, lie down and you die. Find a high point. Find out where you are. Think what you must do to survive. Think, Ernest. Think.
Are you going to die within a stone's throw of salvation? Will you simply lay there, beaten? That's not like you, Ernest. I can't. Where is the young man who made his way through the storm? Did he say count? Count is giving up. Nothing was ever won by giving up. I'm finished. Fight it, Ernest. Think, survive, live, Ernest. I get it. I just don't think it's very funny, that's all. Kinda ridiculous to ask me. Oh, Franz, listen, it's a caterpillar. What kind of a cat has a zillion legs caterpillar? I heard it, I heard it. Where did you ever learn jokes like that, crying out loud? Look! Someone's lit our signal fire. Since you've been home, you've been eating like a horse. Is that your fourth or fifth? You know, Ernest, I still don't understand how you found your way back. It was because of you, all of you. Franz telling me about the coconut and how coconuts will always float to shore. First, they float away from shore, but I don't see. And I heard Mother and Marie talking about me, Mother encouraging, and Father driving me like a sergeant of the guard. You mean you were dreaming? Well, whatever did it, we're grateful. You remember the old saying, there's no place like home. <laughs> here, here. Hey, I just thought of a joke. Oh, no, please. Sarah. It's really funny. Listen. I don't believe it. She won't quit. Where's the sailboat? I'm, I'm leaving. Don't leave me behind. Wait, this is a good one. It was this pelican, see? <laughs> <laughs> Even he can't stand it. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.